Sometimes it feels like we're playing jigsaw puzzle with sneaker leaks. This is kinda true with the Nike Jaw 2, Ja Morant's second signature shoe. First it was the outsole, then came the zoom unit and the inside of the outsole. And now we have a partial look at the potential upper. I might sound like a broken record. But stick around and let's talk. Welcome back, this is Fresh Bear. Smash the thumbs up button, share this video to your friends, follow me on Instagram, and if you're new here, subscribe to my channel for updates. That said, let's dive in. On June 18, 2024, I posted a video about the upcoming Nike Jaw 2 based on the first leaked photo, the outsole. Even if it was just the outsole, I said that the signs were there to confirm that it was indeed the Nike Jaw 2. Roll the clip. At this point, I can't really have a comprehensive say about the Nike Jaw 2. But so far, all the indications are present to confirm that the shoe is indeed Jaw's second signature shoe. The traction looks promising and could be better than the Jaw 1. So far, two colorways are rumored for release, the Christmas and Halloween colorways, both of which are aligned with the presumed holiday release. So the outsole was the first ever leaked photo of the Nike Jaw 2 and I thought to myself it wasn't bad, although the storytelling could have been better. About two days later, we saw the second leaked photo of the shoe which offered a clue to the cushioning. On June 20, 2024, I posted a video based on the second leaked photo of the Nike Jaw 2, the zoom unit and the top face of the outsole. In that video, I said that the cushioning setup could possibly be fairly similar to what we have seen in the Nike Jaw 1. Roll the clip. So let's rewind a bit. In one of the previous videos, we saw that the traction pattern on the outsole looks promising. The grip has the potential to be good, although the final verdict will still depend on the rubber compound used. Now we have a partial glimpse at the cushioning setup. It seems like the overall cushioning is mostly what we've experienced in the Jaw 1, but this time the zoom unit seems to be bottom loaded, which isn't everyone's cup of tea, so don't keep your hopes up. One of the comments in the video somehow sums up the shoe at that point. Same thing, different box. Now that we have a leaked photo of the upper, let's see if it could somehow change people's minds. Like I told you, it's like a jigsaw puzzle. Now we have a leaked photo of the potential lateral view of the upper, so let's get on with it. This particular colorway seems to have at least two materials. First is what could be synthetic at the purple toe cap and black vamp. Second is what looks like a black glossy TPU panel with striations emanating from what could be the swoosh logo. The stitching at the bottom suggests that the shoe uses typical construction. The bottom of the upper material is stitched and glued to the strobel board much like the setup in the Jaw 1. But unlike the Jaw 1, the Jaw 2 doesn't seem to have mesh on the lateral, at least for this colorway, so it's possible that the breathability could be a downgrade here. And the Jaw 1 wasn't even all that breathable to begin with. Meanwhile, the lacing system looks standard from the lateral view, which could also be that way from the medial. This is practically a similar setup to the Jaw 1. And given the cut of the top line, it seems like the Jaw 2 will be a low top silhouette just like the Jaw 1. Putting together everything that we know so far, the Nike Jaw 2 will most likely be a low top with possibly a bottom loaded rectangular zoom unit at the forefoot sitting below what could be a Phylon midsole. The upper could be less breathable than the Jaw 1 and could actually need a bit of break in time. While the outsole could be a little better in the Jaw 2 in terms of traction, I don't think it will vary by a wide margin. In short, the Nike Jaw 2 doesn't seem to deviate too much from the Nike Jaw 1. So if you played in Jaw Morant's first signature shoe, 
chances are you'll get a similar experience with the second signature shoe. Again, different box, similar shoe. I could be wrong, so make sure to return to this video to let me know. In the meantime, let me know what you think so far about the Nike Jaw 2 based on the leaked photos. Post your thoughts in the comment section, smash the thumbs up button, share this video to your friends, follow me on Instagram, and if you're new here, subscribe to my channel for updates. This is Fresh Bear, thanks for watching, peace and love to the fellow underdogs.